What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay. Um, this is a play on Guns N' Roses. Anyway, uh, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Steve N. Seagulls. Yes, indeed. How about that? Steve N. Seagulls making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bot, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Bluebox146, and it was also the winner of the premier tier Patreon request prioritization poll, winning with 37% of the vote. It was close. Literally two votes separated first and second place. That was it. Uh, so that was a close, close call, but uh, they did get the win. So uh, moving from number 501 in the queue straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. Uh, they all want to see me react to this song by Steve and Seagulls. Uh, they're doing a cover of the ACDC song, Thunderstruck. Now, have I heard the song before? Full disclosure, yes. Yes, I have. I am very, very, very familiar with the ACDC song, Thunderstruck. I have heard the song more times than I care to count, and I have even played it a couple of times. So... I am very, very familiar with the song, so no surprises there. However, I have never seen or heard Steven, yes, yeah, Steve and Seagull. There's an apostrophe there. Steve and, that's why I was wondering, this is, is this a play on Guns N' Roses? Steve and Seagulls perform or, you know, play the song Thunderstruck by ACDC. So, to be perfectly clear, full transparency here. I will not be reacting to or evaluating or scoring the original song in any way, shape, or form. I will only be reacting to, evaluating, and scoring what Steve N. Seagulls does with this song. Do they play the song note for note, beat for beat, tone for tone, word for word, exactly like the original? Or do they put their own little spin on it, give it their own little flavor, take it off in a little bit of a different direction, but not so far that becomes unrecognizable. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. Uh, this was posted by Steve Seagulls. Not Steve N. Seagulls, just Steve Seagulls. Okay. And the video has 134 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Thunderstruck by Steve N. Seagulls. Live. Oh, we're going to have a live performance. It's awesome. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Oh, you have 
clear on something here okay i am not laughing okay I, I lie i am laughing at it but look i'm not laughing at them for this idea i think this is brilliant okay absolutely freaking brilliant um <laughs> a banjo uh so you have a banjo an upright bass a seriously stripped down drum kit like kick hi-hat and snare drum, and that's it. That's all it is. And he's playing it with brushes, which I think is fantastic to boot. You have a mandolin, and you have an accordion. And the mandolin player is sitting there doing the thunder with a wrench on the horn of an anvil. I <laughs> this is one of the most original covers I think I've ever heard, ever ever in in my entire life this is one of the most original covers i think i've ever heard it's like hillbilly it's like it's like bluegrass meets acdc i'm wondering where the shine is where, where, where's the moonshine jug that's what i'm looking for i'm waiting to see somebody either drinking out of a moonshine jug or blowing into one one of the two dear lord <laughs> Uh, and the thing is, it, here, here's the, here's the funny part. As, as silly as this looks, and as silly as this sounds in theory, the execution is tight. Like it's very, very tight. Um. The banjo player, my goodness. Uh, he's even playing it like a guitar. He's not using fingers, he's using a pick. He's using a single pick. Uh, most banjo players will use finger picks. They'll put picks on every finger and play like that. Um, he's playing it more like a guitar player, which is interesting. Uh, the upright bass player is using a bow, a German bow. I can see it right here. He's using a German bow. My personal preference too. Uh, but he's using it like he's like he's fingering it. But he's just bump, 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 bump. Just very staccato, very staccato bowings. Um, and the vocals, the vocals, the harmonies. When the harmonies came in, not gonna lie, folks. That as Ric Flair once said, with a tear in my eye, those harmonies, man, made me. Uh, Tear up a little bit. Maybe, now, maybe it's because I was laughing. Maybe that's why, but I got a little choked up when I heard those harmonies. They were gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, Let's let's keep going here. This is fun. It's, it's shocking, but it's fun. Went down the highway, broke the limits, we hit the town. Shaking at the knees. Nice. Could 
I come again, please. Yeah, the ladies were too kind. You've been thunderstruck. Retractions, so yeah, go ahead, hit me with them. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Corrections and retractions. My apologies. I thought it was a hi hat. It is not a hi hat. It is a splash. It is a little splash symbol. I, my apologies. I thought it was a, a hi hat at first. Um, I hope we have a guitar solo. I hope it's the banjo player, man. That was that would be very very cool. Um. I don't know if they're going to even have one. They may just do a little instrumental break of some kind altogether. I don't know. Um, I'm still kind of overwhelmed uh, by the originality, the dedication, um, the commitment to taking an ACDC song and writing it and arranging it into this style where it is completely mutated. Completely mutated, but 100% recognizable. As soon as this banjo player started playing the riff, I immediately recognized it. I did not have to sit there and go, huh, I, don't, I can't tell if this is it. Nope, nope, uh-uh, none of that. I immediately knew what he was doing. It's extremely recognizable, but it is completely mutated into its own beast, its own entity. This is how I like covers to be done where it is instantly recognizable yes but they definitely put their own spin on it they definitely put their own flavor on it who i need you know i i'm in the mood for some moonshine right now boy after after listening to this I, i'm gonna be in the mood to you know <laughs> go get some moonshine or something uh I, i'm gonna need it after this dear lord turning me hillbilly and stuff Let's see if the banjo player is going to do the guitar solo. Let's see. the boot oh my god <laughs> oh lord have mercy uh <laughs> oh <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna go i have no idea um i know it's gonna okay it's going to be above a five. I know that. We're not going down to the fours. We're not going down into the negatives. 
it's going to be in the positives. This could be in the sixes. This could be in the sevens. This could be in the eights. This could be in the nines. I mean, I honestly do not know where this is going to go. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this. Well, there you go, folks. That was Steve and Seagulls with their rendition of the ACDC song, Thunderstruck. This was a request from Blue Box 146, and it was also the winner of the premier tier Patreon request partization poll, winning with 37% of the vote. It was close, uh, but it did win. It moved from number 501 in the queue straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. And I'm not kidding. We are literally talking about two votes. That was the difference. So it was super close. Um, okay, I thought about this and I, I really put some thought into this. Um, let me just, first of all, before anybody starts getting any crazy ideas in their head, okay? Um, I don't give tens for songs. I, I just, I don't, okay? It, I, I will give tens for humanitarian reasons. So like if someone you know, writes a song for a charity or to raise awareness for uh, some disease or to raise money for you know some effort or something like that, and they actually write a song for that specific thing or they put on a benefit concert for that specific thing, I will absolutely get behind that 100% and I will give a 10 for that, absolutely. But I do not give tens for songwriting song playing uh performance no i don't i don't get tens for that so get those thoughts out of your head number one number two nines getting a nine from me is hard enough okay it, it, it's it's not easy to get up into the nines with me it's even harder when it's a cover so okay so i'm just please keep that in mind okay it's because it's not your song yeah you put your own spin on it you're, you're doing a cover yes but you didn't actually write the song you may have arranged it but you didn't write it so getting a nine from me for doing a cover, it's not easy to do. It, it, it's hard enough, like I said, to get it with your own song. To do it with a cover is very difficult. Um, so I know a lot of people are going to be expecting a super high score because I was entertained. Look, I was absolutely entertained, okay? I was. I'm not going to sit there and pretend like I wasn't. I, <laughs> I started the video, and I saw this guy coming in on a riding mower, and all I could think of myself was, where in the heck are we? Where in the backwards, you know, backwoods state of, you know, Missouri are we or something like that? I, I don't even know where we are. Tennessee or Kentucky or something. I don't know. Where where's 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 Papa Tom sitting out there with, with the with the jug of moonshine, you know, looking for it. Um uh, he's riding in on a lawn, on a riding lawnmower with an accordion, which I thought was really weird. Then the song kicks in and we have this banjo player playing the banjo like a guitar with a guitar picking style. Don't see that very often, but it was working well. Upright bass, stripped down drum set with a kick, a snare, and a splash. And that's literally it. And he's gonna be playing with brushes. But he at the moment was playing with spoons, which I thought was really cool. Um, Vocalist playing a mandolin, which I thought was interesting, and on the thunders was using a wrench on the horn of an anvil to get the right tone, I guess. I, creative. Listen, you look at this makeup and you think to yourself, this is going to sound like a hot mess. And the thing is, it sounded, sounded great. It really did. I was very impressed with this. One of the most original covers... I think I have ever heard in my life, if not the most original cover I've ever heard in my life. I might actually be, I might actually be willing to make that statement. Um, this was beyond original. I would never in a million years have ever thought about doing a bluegrass cover of Thunderstruck with that instrumentation and then on top of it, not just the instrumentation, the vocal harmonies. What a great touch. You don't hear harmonies. You hear gang vocals on the original song, but you don't hear harmonies. That was a nice, nice touch. I kind of, 
I kind of wish ACDC would do that song with harmonies now because I think it would sound really good. Um, the instrumentation was outstanding. The, the setting for the music video, this was live. This was a live performance. Um, and you could tell it was. You could hear all the background noise. You could hear the wind blowing. You could hear the shuffling of the feet around on the, on the on the floor. You could hear everything being picked up. So this was live. I don't know how they did. They probably got one very powerful condenser mic, hung it right in the middle over their heads and picked up everything. And just, they did their best to balance and move the mic where they needed it to be to get the best mix. That would be my guess. Um, I didn't see anything mic'd up. I didn't see anything amped up. So everything was gonna be based on that one condenser mic. When you're playing acoustic instruments like that in a tight setting, facing each other like that, it's it's very easy to do. It's just the, the hardest part, honestly, is positioning the mic in the best way to get the best mix. Um, but it sounded fantastic. This was fun. Uh, their commitment to the roles. Uh, now I, I don't know if this is a real bit. Was this a parody? I, I, I here I have so many questions. Question number one: Steven Seagulls. Is this their shtick? Is this their gimmick? Is this what they do? Do they do ACDC covers only, or do they cover other bands as well? When they do covers, do they do it in this bluegrass format, or do they do other styles of music as well? My gut's telling me that they do other bands. My gut is also telling me that they stick to this style, though. They stick to this bluegrass style and this instrumentation. Instrumentation may vary slightly. I mean, you can't always use the same instruments, but I have a feeling this is their gimmick. And listen, what a great gimmick. What a great original gimmick. But I have a feeling they don't just cover ACDC songs. I have a feeling they cover the songs too. I wonder if they do any Rush. I would love to hear them do Closer to the Heart with this setup. I think that would be amazing. I dug this. I absolutely dug this. And I just realized I didn't give the score yet, did I? Um, Let me give the score. <laughs> then we'll close this out. On a scale of 1 to 10... I don't care. I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to give him a 9.4. Yep. 9.4. You heard me. I didn't stutter. That is the score. I feel this cover. Yeah. A cover getting up in the nines. I feel this cover deserves. And I already told you why. Why? We're not going to go into that again. Let's end this meeting on a high note. No, listen, I, I absolutely enjoyed this. I absolutely did. Um, I, One of the most unique original covers, if not the most unique and original cover I've ever heard, while still not drifting so far in the left field that you didn't recognize the song. No, you instantly recognized the song. So they did a bang up job very original fun to watch and not in a clown way not in a funny clown way but just funny in the way that it was it was so different it just it, you, you had to laugh because it looks like it's going to be absolute nonsense and it turns out to be pretty freaking amazing so 9.4 i feel good with that score and that is where we're going to stay so 9.4 final score i have spoken well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.